you know, and Mikael, this is more for you. I, I know, I know you were raised by your grandmother. Um, you, if I got this right, you have three brothers. Um, yes. Did Did you always dream? And I, and I understand you. You you raised Christian. You, you're not even thinking about two wives. But did you always dream of having a big family? <clears throat> I thought about having a girl and a boy. Yeah, none of us did actually. I didn't think I would have kids at all. I was like, I don't want kids. And then here I am with ten. I actually, I I wanted a big family because I'm one of seven children. My mother had seven children. Uh, okay, so you know, I'll just ask this: twenty eight children. I guess in in in. One way you could look at it is like you guys are all together. You're raising your children, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to each his own. Another way you could look at it is it's irresponsible. There's going to be some people who look yeah. at this and, and say that that is just completely irresponsible. Mm -hmm. But what do you say to somebody who, who forget not understanding y'all's lifestyle but has a very difficult time digesting the fact that between the three of you, you literally have 28 children. Well, I don't. I don't care what their opinions are, Even what they think. Because here, here's the thing. I might have 28 children. I know brothers one and two don't do a third of what I do. Nope. I take care of them. They don't, they're not wanting for anything. You know what I mean? Like I said, all of their needs are met. The once. Maybe not so much, but we're working on that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the ones is met. Oh, yeah. um, we do outings. Mm -hmm. We afford outings. We take them out to dinner. You know, they're not getting uh, skimmed on life with it. They're not being able to see, you know, what the world has to offer. We take them on right. trips. We take them on vacations, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so we, we do all those things, family with them, that you would do in a normal relationship with just two people and one or two kids. You know, right. how, well, how many me, of your children? I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm, I apologize. For me, it was. It, I mean, for me, it's just like I mean, you have women, you know, single women out here with multiple children, and you know they're making ends meet. You know, things like that. And the Bible does say, "Be fruitful and multiply." Right. So, you know, however you do it, whether you're one man, one woman, two women, two men, however, I mean, you can have as many as you please. None of my children are in jail. Nope. None of them in the dirt. Nope. Um, none of them in the hospital right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're all healthy. Mm -hmm. They all have a relationship. Yeah. They all have a loving relationship. They all know each other. They all deal with each other, even mm -hmm. from the oldest mm -hmm. down to the youngest now. Mm -hmm. Even the older children that have moved away and have their own family in different states come back. Or they, they talk every day. We got group texts, mm -hmm. we got FaceTime, you know, they talk every day, you know what I mean? So because that's what we once people them. once people get to know us they and they they see what's going on with us, then they're like, oh wow, damn. This we seems make, normal. We make you it know? Look easy. <laughs> we really do, you know. Um it ain't easy. No. By by a long shot, it's not it's not easy. But the one thing that we have is determination. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going we gonna to set out to make sure that they're okay first. They matter first. Right. How, how many of your children are still at home? 19. Isn't Two left. They came back. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them so, left. They came back. Within <laughs> your household, within your household, there are 22 people living there. Mm -hmm. yes. it's yep. 19, 19 and then three of you guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, is there is there a such thing as privacy? Does that even exist? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we go to bed and we lock our door and tell them stay the hell out. <laughs> yeah, I mean everybody has little okay. private time at different times. You know what I mean? How, how is that? How is that even possible? Well, sometimes you walk in here, girls. and you come. Sometimes you come in this house, and you won't even know that that they're many home. kids is in here. Yeah, they're home. Right. They're in their you own. You know, because everybody, everybody's somewhere doing something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like my daughter Sanaya. She will, she will, when everybody's out congregating and enjoying each other, she'll, she'll disappear and be in the room by herself. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody gets a little long time at different times. Now, the older girls, they're very strict on their privacy. They like to keep their door locked because the younger kids like to go in there and mess with them. 
So they definitely have this strict policy of get out of my room, don't come in here and bother us. And that's where they, because they're teenage girls, that's them. They like to have their own space. So and they, they get out at times. Them. They get out at times. Like mm-hmm. sometimes they go with the grandparents, like a couple of them would just put her mom. Mm-hmm. They just came back last week and she's coming up again to take a few more down to Georgia with her to, mm-hmm. for, the, for the summer. Um, some of them go with their godparents. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they, they get out too as well. Yeah, my some brother. of them go out with the older siblings. And my um, brother, they're kind of involved too. So. How, how many boys and how many girls? We had 11 boys. And it was, what, 16, it was 16, 17, 16 girls now. It was 17. <laughs> okay, and what are the age ranges? My oldest will be 28 this year. Wait, 28, 29. 29. 29 this year. In December. In December. And the newborn is a couple of days old. Four days. Four days. Mm-hmm. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.